Happy Monday, everyone. It's the Run DFS Morning Show. We are starting the week off with a strong start. Last night was great as our top targets came through for us, including McCollum's assist, Sabonis' fantasy point, and Memphis's first half fantasy point props, including Desmond Baines and Steven Adams. Memphis continues to dominate in the absence of Morant, and that defense held the Rockets under 100 points and blew them out. Tate, Green, and KPJ's unders all hit, so it's something to consider going forward. When Morant is out, go with the unders for the opposing team, especially if they are a team like the Rockets. Now we don't have much on the board this far out, only a few Mavs and Cavs props so far, but we'll go over our favorite player targets at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around. We have nine games again today, but all the games start within an hour of each other, and the latest game is at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, so no late night hammer game on the West Coast. And as always, we have some narratives for you guys today. So let's get hunting. The Lakers at Cavs game has a 223 implied total and the Cavs are six point favorites. I know, right? The Cavs are favorites against LeBron returning to Cleveland. He always gets up for these homecoming games and I expect the same thing today. So his fantasy point or real point props will most likely be core plays for us today. I would not be surprised if he puts up 50 real life points. On the Cavs side, Garland and Mobley will be our primary focus as always. Both of their fantasy point props are in play, but we could also consider Garland's free throw prop if it's less than 5 again. He's been crushing this prop lately, and the Lakers foul at a very high rate. The Pelicans at Hornets game has a 5 point spread and a 234 implied total, one of the highest on the slate. We have some narratives in this matchup as well. The Pelicans are on a back to back and we just saw J Val have a strong performance with a double double, and McCollum was dishing out dimes and finished with 8 assists on the night. So if Graham is out again tonight, then we could go right back to McCollum's assist prop. But if Graham ends up playing, then we might have to reconsider things, especially if they juice um, McCollum's assist prop up to 7 or more. I assume Graham will want to play in this homecoming revenge game though. He was born and raised in North Carolina and drafted by the Hornets before being shipped away to the Pelicans just a few years later. These two teams played recently and McCollum sat out. I wonder if he does this again on a back-to-back -back and lets Graham get his full homecoming revenge game. Another narrative in this game is that it's Miles Bridges' birthday game, and he just dropped 52 fantasy points against the Pelicans a little over a week ago. And he's on a heater right now, so that could continue today. All the Hornets' big three had a good game last week against the Pelicans, and it's always uh, tricky picking which one has one of those big games. But I'm going to let the B-Day narrative pick it for me, and lean towards Bridges. The Blazers at Pistons game has a 7 point spread and a 223 implied total. This is not an appealing real life basketball game in my opinion, but it has some potential for props. Cade will be the primary focus in this matchup and we will most likely focus on his fantasy point or assist props. He should have minimal resistance in this matchup and continue to fill the stat line as he chases the rookie of the year award. On the Blazers side, uh, Watford and Hart are the only targets we might consider, but I'm always hesitant clicking on Blazers props, so I might fade. Hey guys, it's Danny. I'm just here to let you guys know about the free Discord that we did launch. The link for it is in the description down below. Jump in there, share your screenshots, talk about your favorite props on prize picks, and share your DFS lines, and we'll all talk about it. The Heat at 76ers game has a one and a half point spread, and 76ers are on a back to back and will have played their third game in the last four days. So fatigue is always a concern. And they get a tough matchup against the Heat. They put up only 88 points last night too. I'm gonna hold off on targeting them for now. On the Heat side, Butler is questionable with that same ankle injury. We discussed this uh, Honeywell recently, but Tyler Hero is Mr. Second Quarter and has scored more than 12 points in the second quarter in the last nine straight games. So he's been crushing his first half point prop, and it's even more of a boost if Butler is out. However, this game will be very slow, so we will have to wait and see what the prop opens at before locking it in as a key target. The Wizards at Rockets game has a 5 point spread with a 234 implied total, and Kuzma is questionable again. If Kuzma is out, then we can definitely target KCP and Porzingis' fantasy point props in this matchup. KCP should rack up stocks as the Rockets lead the league in steals allowed. Hopefully Porzingis can start to get more run and play 30 plus minutes soon. On the Rockets side, Jalen Green is in play. He didn't log that many minutes yesterday in the blowout and this is a great matchup for him. Martin and Sangoon continue to show improvements and shine at moments, but we won't have any props for them. But they are eating into starter minutes, um, including Woods and Tate, so something to consider. 
This is the highest implied total so far along with the Pelicans Hornets game. However, Rockets games always make me nervous, and I have not been a fan of targeting Wizards games either. But we can still get on some of these plays, I just wanted to share some of my hesitation currently. The Celtics at Thunder game has the largest spread and lowest implied total on the slate, so it might be a full fade for me, unless we wanted to target some first half props like Robert Williams or Tatum's fantasy points. SGA is questionable again, and he sat out last night against the Magic. If he sits again, then even more reason to avoid this game. The Mavs at T-Wolves game has a 3 point spread and a 230 implied total. We don't know the status of Cat yet. He has a questionable tag with an arm injury. So we'll have to wait and see until we get that news. But I'm definitely interested in his fantasy point prop if he plays. The Mavs weakness is in the interior in the paint, while they continue to be strong on the perimeter. On the Mavs side, Dinwiddie and Bullock are back, so they will be at full strength which helps increase the odds of this game staying close, but also makes it more tricky on prop hunting for them. But one prop that I would be interested in would be Lucas free throw prop, especially if it's at six or less, since the T-Wolves give up the most free throw attempts in the league. His three point prop should also be considered since the T-Wolves play at the fastest pace, so more shot attempts for Luca, and he will chug it from three, as he's averaging almost nine three point attempts on the season. Our favorite overall target will be LeBron James point or fantasy point props. I know it's the obvious one to go with, but it's just too good to pass up. Hopefully we keep this hot streak going and have another good slate today. Be sure to leave a comment below and tell us what your favorite targets are, and we will definitely respond to each of them. And smash that like button on the way out, we always appreciate that, and subscribe if you're not part of the awesome Run DFS team yet. As always, best of luck, I hope you guys crush it. Take care everyone.